Hello everyone. You know who I am. This is Power Wheelchairs for Success. And today we're going to talk about overall, your overall health. We're going to do it a little differently and I'm going to give you a structure or a, yeah, kind of like a structure or a map that we're going to look at as I go through this because there are different levels of health and it's important for you to check each one of these rings that we're going to look at and make sure that you are interacting with each level. So the first level, and show it to you here, is you. This is a little shiny here, but um, is you. So in that first circle, the you that I'm talking about is uh, bathing, clothing uh, yourself, making your own bed, doing tasks at the house, um, you know, all the basic things that you need to care for yourself. So if you are slipping in that area, then you stay in that first circle and you try to improve it. So get a routine down for every day as you're in the wheelchair, learning how to use the wheelchair, improving your skills um, as you're in the wheelchair, uh, how you need to reach things or organize things that are better for you. So I know sometimes that focusing on yourself sometimes is not easy, so, uh, but it's important so that you can go into the next circle but again, I want you to stay right there at that first circle that I just showed you so that you focus on yourself and you think, okay, what kind of things am I not doing that I should for self-care? So that first circle really has to do with self-care. So if you're slipping there, try to tighten it up a little bit. And really, as a wheelchair user, if, if you're not working, you're staying at home, you're helping with the kids or you know, just at home, then it will be important for you to um, get a routine down that's healthy, that's workable for you. All right, self-care, first circle. Second one is family, family and friends. So we're gonna put in this second one, family, friends, and loved ones. A little messy here, but you see it. Family, friends, and loved ones. So if you're making notes, um, that's good. So that next circle, you really need to focus on, um, let me put it up here. See it? All right. So that first circle has to do really about how you're connecting with others. If you're doing okay with the self-care, then go to the next circle and see if you're connecting with family, friends, and loved ones. If you're slipping there, then stop at that circle, that second circle, and figure out what is it that you need to do next. How are you, because isolating yourself is not part of self-care. So isolating because of the wheelchair or because of your disability is not self-care. It's, it's hurting yourself. And granted, sometimes you need that space and you're quiet, um, but it's also good to connect with others, even if it's the butcher or the meat market. <laughs> um, but really to connect with others and be social, get your mind off of things. Um, so family, loved ones, those who are close to you, don't push them away. They really want to help you and interact with you and give you the support you need at this time. So uh, figure out, just kind of put it as a goal if you're slipping there in terms of when you will uh, move on to that next circle and try to connect with others. All right, and the next one, we're going to talk about community. So there you go, community. So are you getting out 
and using resources like the grocery store, uh, Target, uh, are you going to the movies, you know, activities you could do in the community, out there, not staying at home all the time because you're in a wheelchair. There's a lot more to life than that. So think about it, you know, what kind of things, what kind of goal can you set yourself up for going out in the community, even if it's just trying the public bus or having the county bus come and pick you up and go to a certain location, even if it's to Walgreens or uh, to the pharmacy, to your choice pharmacy or to, to the mall for the first time in a long time. If you haven't been out in months, it's time to start thinking about where you want to go and uh, stretch yourself a little bit. Okay, so community. If you're not there yet, you know, you're doing okay with self-care, you're connecting with family, friends, loved ones, then go to the next one, community. And no hiding. You gotta figure out how to get out there, even if it's to the courtyard, go outside for a little bit, come back, then go a little bit further in the next day, come back. So if you need to do it step by step, then, then that would be a good idea too. Now to their last ring, which is really important. We're gonna talk about organizations, big organizations. All right, so organizations, the last ring. So when I talk about organizations, I'm talking about your hospital, your local hospital clinic. I'm talking about support groups that you can connect with. I'm talking about, um, you know, a case manager. If you feel like you need case management, you know, the county can provide that or your local hospital can provide that or even your insurance. If you have medical insurance, then you know, and you feel like you need a case manager to just kind of guide you for a little bit, call the insurance and just say, do you have case management uh, services that I can use for a little bit? So uh, an insurance is a large organization. So that's why we have it in there. Um, so are you connecting to services that are out there for you uh, and not think that you're all by yourself, that you can't do anything, that the world is coming to an end? Uh-uh, <laughs> it's not. It really isn't. Um, so think about this last ring. If you think of a, a, a group or an organization that you could connect with and um, get the support you need for whatever it might be. And it could be temporary, it can be long-term, but, you know, going back to the doctor on a routine basis, or, you know, uh, think about it. Think about what organization in your community, in your county, would be able to provide a little bit of that support that you need right now. So. That's all I had, but this is general, you know, caring for yourself, that first circle, that next circle, and don't skip circles. You really got to start from yourself first before you can go out there and start reaching out. So it can't happen the other way around either. You, you really have to focus on yourself. If you feel like you're really drowning and you, you, you just don't have the strength and things are really falling apart for you, then really reach out to, the, to your um, insurance and just say, hey, I need some help in finding a behavioral health or a counselor or a case management uh, services so that I can kind of get back on my feet. So my family is helping me, but you know, I think I need a little bit more than what they can provide. So. You can do that as well. But make sure that you're working on that first circle, which is you, which is you. So I'm hoping that this is helpful and you're able to make some notes and start working on yourself and reaching out uh, to anything or anybody that you think that would be good to have in your life right now. 
for whatever you're going through. You know, these things are important. You are needed in your family. You're needed in the community. Uh, all right, that is it for today. I'm hoping you're doing well and you continue to improve uh, the skills that you have earned so far and that each day you get better and better at being the person who you are. All right, take care and post any questions or comments you may have. Bye-bye.